uh, the enemy were advancing through the bush on that side to mop up. From mercenaries that they arrested, the, the captured later on, they, they discovered that the mercenaries thought the whole battle would be over in an hour, or not for five days. Okay, so how, who fired the first shot? The enemy came up on the jeeps and Private Harry Dell had a, a, brand, um, a Gustav, Gustav at a hundred yards, who hit the doors, you know, with the Gustav from here. But the fact that he fired the Gustav, uh, Sergeant John Monaghan jumped up behind the uh, Vickers machine gun and took blazed away and knocked over the first jeep and the other jeeps couldn't progress and the and everybody at mass ran immediately to the trenches took a position and were waiting for the infantry as they came out of the bush uh, a one-hour battle had commenced at that stage and tom gunn i remember tom gunn uh, who was a private out there later covered tom gunn now live in mullingar a big part of the guy uh, he said it was the most terrifying hour of his life he said that on radio uh, now and it was one hour battle and then three hours of uh, peace until 11.30 when heavy mortars and machine guns and so on attack us support the drill number one platoon. But between 8.30 and 11.30, interesting, something interesting happened. The, uh, most people in Jadavur were totally against the United Nations, except for three people. One of them was uh, Dr. Pierre, XRAF. The other one was... Uh, Oh, I forget his name just now, but he was uh, the local uh, estate agent who was renting out everything. He was XRAF. He was XRAF. And they did not approve of the anti-UN feeling because they'd been through the Second World War and so on. And the third one was uh, Charles Carney from Wexford who was working for Union Minier on heavy machinery. And when the attack came on Jadavid, he left his job, wouldn't work for them anymore because an Irishman, he didn't approve of what's happening against the Irish. But at about 10 o'clock in the morning, the doctor appeared, drove down the main road through Irish positions. He could see the trenches, and he had a piece of paper in his hand, and he slowed down beside one of the trenches, dropped it on the ground, and he said, For Conor and Quinlan, he drove on, picked it up. In it was a message You will be attacked again at 11 30, and also was the coordinates of a 75 millimeter French officer over the hill that could cause trouble for Jadon. And the French 75mm was beaten by the Irish 60mm mortar. Interesting in this case, the mortar crew of the 